Right, my name's Sue Smith, this is St Ives Junior School. Um, I came originally, the school was put in special measures in January 2003. I came in September 2003 from uh, under the headship. And the school's progressed from a really low point, one might say, there to um, a much better point as a result of the things that have happened in the school. We have mixed gender seating um, as, a default. as a default throughout the whole school. Um, and our groupings are very personal, um, they're very targeted. Um, they're fluid, they change. change, they're never set, and they're certainly opposite to the traditional model of mixed, uh, you know, ability grouping. Children will, will, will explain to you, it's all about setting your, your learning personal bests. So um, if I scored four out of five, uh, four out of 20 in a, in a mental maths quiz last week, but I scored six this week, I'm heading in the right direction because I've made progress of two. So for me, that, that, that's a very powerful tool. And, and it means that when the children here really buy into that, then they really believe in, in bettering themselves. And I, and I think that's, that's key. You are guiding, but you're, you are facilitating and enabling but they will feed back on whether that lesson is good or not and how well they have learned because of the way you have <coughs> orchestrated that lesson. Mm -hmm. It is about empowering children so they see themselves as real learners with a real voice mm -hmm. that they can make a difference to their learning gains because that's mm -hmm. what it's all about. They what talk they about gain? learning gains um, all the time, constantly, yeah. and they know that they're not going to have a massive learning gain in every single lesson every single day. Mm -hmm. But getting them to reflect why their learning gain isn't as high as, high as maybe it would have been, you get people, uh, children saying, well, my learning gain wasn't great because I, I challenged myself too much and I, I was too, too adventurous. It's all about the talk, the reflection mm -hmm. constantly. And if we do it as adults in school, then so we'll, we'll, so yeah. we'll do it in assembly, we'll do it as, as a teacher in front of the class, mm -hmm. all the time saying, oh, that didn't work well for me today. What can I do to change it tomorrow? What can I do to make your learning more effective tomorrow? Mm -hmm. And they're quite keen at giving you answers. Yeah. <laughs> One of the things we haven't touched on yet would be would be the element of choice that, yeah. that, that, that pupils have in, in their learning. And we, we work really hard here to make sure that they are able to make a really informed choice. So they challenge themselves appropriately. That's phenomenal. Hmm. It's liberated children completely, they are no longer hindered with, you know, labels. For example, you could use something very simple, which we started off doing, we traffic light after lessons, mm -hmm. but you could have a, a green hoop, an orange hoop and a red hoop, mm -hmm. and children could then put uh, a post-it in, the, in, in there if they hadn't been self-assessing like that. That's how we kind of started off doing it. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. children were really involved in that unpicking of, but, but that's, it's key that children are enabled to self-assess how effective has the learning been in this lesson. Have you mastered the learning game? What percentage of you? In staff training on Wednesday, we watched key um, aspects, really good practice from three different people, which was brilliant because you can celebrate, wow, that was fantastic. Mm. Um, and then we steal from each other. Oh, that's mm. great. How you did that? that was fantastic. I'm going to borrow that and use that. It's just seeing children who want to come to school, yeah. and you see children as well who are flourishing, and the difference between. Uh, when they come in year three and year six is amazing.